And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gang Planks Fate. We just played this deck yesterday. I don't usually play the same deck two days in a row, but we are uh, trying to get to Masters rank uh, by the end, you know, by about a week until the end of the season. Uh, we're in like Diamond 3 right now, so we got some work to do. This deck and the next one, Vladimir Braum, both felt really good yesterday. Wanted to go ahead and retry them and kind of, you know, get some more practice in with them. See if we can keep on getting some some wins. We went 4-1 and one yesterday with this deck, only losing to an 18 damage elusive Sivir. <laughs> you know, right? So that good old spell shield that just, um, you know, gave it Ghost and Twin Disciplines and all that kind of stuff. So that was our only loss uh yesterday and like the the plus one plus zero double double strike double attack uh besides that won all the rest of them but we played a lot of close games they just kind of were going our way so how the, how is this deck so good so basically what it is it's it's you get lots of cheap units that you're able to um play to the board and we're going to be very aggressive kind of like the misfortune gangplank deck but we also have good interaction for stopping the opponent slowing them down at least we're going to have your make it rain your sentry flock combo to sentry even just sentry stunning things twisted fate can stun or red card so like between all that kind of stuff you're slowing your opponent down enough in order to like let these other uh units that are attacking for two or three uh get in and, and do a good amount of damage and then at the top end we have gangplank with a powder keg to to help finish the job dreadway is really powerful at, at the top end if you get to that but a lot of games you don't quite get to that but you know we have that and spray fin gets us some good card advantage as well so that's that's kind of what the deck's all about so let's go play seven games in rank that's what we're doing today we're playing just three decks that all performed very well this week and then we are going to be playing seven games with each of them so we got Lee Sin, karma not karma that's zoe sorry Lee Sin zoe up first <laughs> And Harpoon could be decent against Lee Sin. I think we're going to send those two back, keep Grenadier Spray Fin. I wouldn't mind, like, I was kind of hoping to draw, like, a Mega Rain that could kill a round one Zoe. But it wouldn't would work until round two anyway. Alright, well, pass the round, please. I hope they do have Zoe, because that <laughs> stands a little slow against Zoe. Little slow against Zoe. They're gonna have Eye of the Dragon as well. The goat. Alright, I'm gonna pass. I'm not gonna just trade immediately because of Fortune Croaker. Yeah, maybe we get the opportunity to play the Fortune Croaker next round. I have not played the last chance gauntlet, no. Yeah, I could see this matchup being pretty good for us, but this is it's kind of gone as bad as it could so far with the round one Zoe attacking. Zero mana, 1-1 one, one challenger. Gotta go with the flow. All right, so my thinking is maybe we can Maybe we can kind of sit back a little bit. Wait till they attack next round. After attacks, play Gangplank, then go to my round and go red card with the Powder Keg. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Hmm. May not work incredibly well. So 
So on a red card right now. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Yeah, the mention of the stones is really scary. That one Zoe can always be really scary. Something for all. I don't know. Alright, so I'm thinking here, like, that, that fills up their hand to ten cards. If we kill the Zoe, maybe they have to just burn the top card of their deck because they have 10 cards in hand. Like, maybe they don't have anything that costs two or less they can play. Can I pass? No. Never mind. One star's whipsy is another spark. There's plenty of killing left. Wow. Okay, so we still have all three Mega Rains in the deck. I definitely thought that was going to be a Mega Rain. To get rich. I definitely thought that, you know, we had three Mega Rains, one Ravenous Flock to draw. We drew the third Flock, so we're out of Flocks. All three Mega Rains are still in there. Croaker is a good draw. Just gives me another card, which I will definitely need. Even if I would have tried to harpoon the Sparkle Fly, we don't. Oh, they it's, they still count as the Daybreak. They still draw that thing. Planning on Ballista and open attack. Let's get to it. Well, there's a Maker Rain. Can I paint you? They have room. That wasn't very smart. But that's good. For, that's good for me. <laughs> that Nopify. That nullifies big, big trouble. So that's that's great for me. Oh, 
Okay. So I'm using a good amount of cards to take out that Sway Fin. It's fine. Yeah, I, I agree. Cortex says they're pretty desperate to draw Lee Sin, and that's what it looks like. We're about to make this Mega Rain do 4 damage. Alright, well, so that's... Either Flock or Flock. Looks like it's Flock. Or... Yeah, those are the only options. Flock, Flock, or Flock. The ocean herself will fear us! There's no finer I'll do this before they challenge the powder cake for nothing. All right, so we there's only two cards we don't know about, right? Like we know obviously gem, 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 zenith blade, and we know that one's flock. All right, they have surrendered. One and zero. No lease in. No victory. Yep, the good old one mana destroy boat. Silence boat. <laughs> one mana vengeance. We're gonna need a lot of card advantage stuff. This actually looks like a pretty good hand. Yeah. Usually we wouldn't keep any drop, but I think we can make an exception this time. So they're thinking about what? They're not playing Go Hard, are they? Yeah, if we had Decimate instead of Harpoon, that would be better, but... We got Harpoons. Alright, so imagine they are... Like... If I play Grenadier first, they go... Avaros and Sentry. Like, Avaros and Sentry is always a huge... Pain. If I do this thing, that really enables Vile Feast... I guess they're just attacking. These old eyes still see far and clear. Her heart's always a pain. He started without me. Harpoon just is a really good removal spell for champions. You know, it's like three you know, the three mana deal five, it's I just like it more than Death Sand. It just kind of kills a lot of stuff, you know. Like it can, it can take down set. Like it's like Sedjuani. Obviously, is always a, a really difficult card. A lot of people playing Gangplank Sedjuani these days. It kills Gangplank, whether it's from like the Misfortune Gangplank deck or the Gangplank Sedjuani. Um, it pairs perfectly with Twisted Fate, right? You know, you go Twisted Fate red card to deal one to like a five six Sedjuani and turn on the plunder, and then you have your three mana um, harpoon to kill Sedjuani. Same thing with, like, Sivir Ruin Runner, right? Like, you go red card, get rid of the spell shield, and do the one damage turn on Plunder, and then you got your Harpoon to take out a Sivir Ruin Runner. It kills, like, your your Zeds and, like, those kind of things, even through Twin Disciplines. Like, your Zed, your Action. It's a good card. I don't really like going to one health and just letting... 
a vile feast kill something and trade but obviously now they can have the sentry block the butcher yeah avalanche that's fine so it looked like i over i ex you know extended more into the avalanche but i did draw the card for it so it's okay where's my axe so i wasn't i was definitely was not going to play one of these things into that but it's really hard This Anivia deck is kind of impossible to ever beat. I think if we look up Anivia win rate on Mobilitics, it's probably 100%. Probably. I'm not sure exactly why not just play that immediately. I guess they maybe had like an avalanche or something they wanted to play. Maybe. I'll do better this time. Is it vengeance? No. So we're doing like demolitionist, the powder keg. Deal three. Play the Grenadiers this turn just fine. I bring the storm. Your path ends here. Strike them down. Deuce is lit. <laughs> Cardi says Anivia wins 100% of the games, about 50% of the time. over there. gives them the frostbite that's where this gets so tough to kill anivia's with the frostbite oh i guess no it doesn't give them the frostbite because this is going to die at the beginning of the round does not give them the harsh winds Time to reflect. right that's the whole reason why i'm doing this Nivia 2 4 to begin with? 3 5. 2 4? 2 4 that turns into 3 5? Something ancient. 2 4? Can't block fearsome? It's 
It's a lot of damage. I don't really know how we get another two damage in. Maybe we draw a Mega Rain. Monster Harpoon. That does a lot of damage. If only you were Death Sand. One candle for every sun. If only you were Death Sand. Alright, so that's going to be doing four damage. If I play this Croaker, it does two to both, so that means the Dreadway will die. I play the Croaker. Gangplank's just taking, like, all the damage in the world. I play Gangplank. go to one with them playing ice shards and like ice shards very common I can't really go to one I don't think Alright, well they know about, like, powder kegs. They're not saving that for a powder keg. First time ever? A plan works? Maybe it will work. Wow! A plan works? Yeah, harsh winds didn't matter at that point. You've concerned. Anivia lost for the first time ever. So that was even if they would have like killed the powder keg, and so it wasn't lethal. Which one? They they should have wait. They should have saved their vile feast for that powder keg. But if they would have had like another vile feast for the powder keg. Then at least it would have leveled up the gang plank. The gang plank would have been able to attack and have that attack ability with the leveled up. Um, I could have taken out two Anivia blockers by stunning one and. Um, Harpooning the other. So two blockers as far as like five power. But I probably I want to save I probably want to save um the harpoon for attacking with the overwhelm gangplank and whatever they block with then harpoon. Fourth them. Okay, Lulu Z. Let's see how we do against Lulu Z. This is this is a good Mega Rain Twisted Fate matchup. Those are not Mega Rains or Twisted Fates. Um, but they're not necessarily bad. 
What do I think about this harpoon? Could be three damage, kill a Lulu or a Zed. A three man three mana. I think I said three damage, three mana, kill a Lulu or a Zed. We gotta do a little bit of work for that to be three mana, but we got these grenadiers that should help that out. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. You poor thing. Young Witch is usually the two mana card. Really Mega Rain? I should maybe just pass here and just save the two mana for next round. Make a, no, we're not going to want to make a Rain Pulse Harpoon next round already. Or are we? Or are we? No Zed, no Zed, no Zed. Do this now? Yeah. Might as well do this now. Alright, hit all three. Two of the three. You can. Made them use a good amount of cards. Sure about that? Do, 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 do. I mean, it's just the likely outcome is that those are going to trade anyway. Might as well not take Nexus damage and help them race. I don't love having Ballista trade with the 3 1. I want to save the Grenadier's ability to do Nexus damage for Harpoon. If need be. I am the blade in the darkness. Oh, you're not the blade in the darkness. You're like, I don't know, I really whatever something else is besides that. Yeah, they're using a ton of resources. A ton of resources. I think I still wait. So, like, right now they can't have a barrier, but they could have, you know, Twin Disciplines or Sharp Sight. I kind of feel like if they had Twin Disciplines or Sharp Sight, they would have just used it just like they used that other Sharp Sight right there. So, I think this is good. Save the, the next itself. So that's acceptable as well. Alright, we still have one spell mana for parlay. Alright, can't kill us. GG's. 3 no. I won't stop coming for those who wronged me. This deck's good. Thing is, we won those last two games, and like Twisted Fate's been nowhere to be found. Usually, you know, Twisted Fate's pretty good. Yeah, I guess Twisted Fate was in the first game. True. Trundle Swain, but their name is LeBlanc. What's going on over here? Trundle Swain LeBlanc? 
I kind of like all these cards. Maybe send... Let's see. We go round one Butcher. I guess they're going to have all the Ice Shards and Avalanches and that kind of stuff. So let's send these two back. We'll keep Butcher Croaker. That's true. LeBlanc is everyone. LeBlanc is Trundle. LeBlanc is Swain. Alright, found a Twisted Fate. Let's see what we can do with that card. Plus, it should just put more pressure on them. Um, you know, especially if they if they don't have an avalanche, is a great play. Even if they do have an avalanche, it's still you know hitting for four the same as an open attack would. But if they don't have an avalanche, it's really nice. Oh, kindly tavern keeper. I don't know. Alright, so if I send it in... They block... If I had to make a rain, it'd be a real easy send in. It's probably still a fine send in. Alright, good. Rewarded. Okay. Rewarded. For playing the Ballista and attacking with everything. I hate how everything has two health. Let's get to it. I hate that, that we just keep drawing two health units. Leave your bags at the door. Deal me in. I'll go blue card, and I could... Play, pick a card if we want. Soak it in. Yep. No surprise there. Do we want to go pick a card and get two? Kinda. I don't want to go pick a card. Got to trust your instincts. No. There's plenty of killing left. It's not like a Ravenous Flock kills a Trundle or a Swain if their plan is like Trundle or Swain. It's, it's not killing either one. I mean, I guess I guess Gold Card plus Block Wood. And maybe this draws. Okay, maybe I should have done that because then this could draw. Make it rain. They would have killed that 3-1. I guess I should have just taken the 3. Yeah, I should have taken the 3. Yep, should have taken the 3. Get 
So they've just played two Tavern Keeper, an Avalanche, a Blighter Ravine. All sorts of stuff that uh, is... Yeah. All sorts of stuff that's very efficient and good at killing multiple things, or the Tavern Keeper, which is a great defensive tool. Really hoping no more avalanches. That's a card. Yeah, the thing is, like, I'm not doing Dreadway before combat. I think so. Then if they go Leviathan, I have Mega Rain Flock kill Leviathan. Gosh, so many more of these. Then they just block with Swain. Reporting in. That was a good turn for them. After all of this, we have five cards in hand, they have five cards in hand. And we have the three two in play. They've only played one champion, we've played two champions and a boat. Two blockers. I don't want to do this five. Ten. attack. We'll have two blockers. Atacon! Hmm. Alright, what do they got? So right now that's lethal. 
This thing does three. This thing does three, this thing does three. Right now that's still lethal. Okay, not as lethal. I'm down to two. Back up to five. I mean, Mega Rain doesn't doesn't help. Mega Rain just does one damage right now. It's it's better to wait till next round to Mega Rain where we get another Powder Keg next round. Because if I Mega Rain, it takes out those Powder Kegs, and so then the, then the other thing only does one damage. So like, it, Mega Rain would not kill the Leviathan. However, I can I can harpoon this thing. Put it to one health, then make a rain and put that to one health, and then, you know, like red card. We can also just wait till next round. Let me do this. See what else we got. Wait on this new powder keg. Blue card? Make it rain for the next powder keg. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna be difficult to win. That flash freeze was exactly what they needed. But then also like the you know the catalyst, right? Like they needed both the flash freeze and the catalyst. That was exactly what they needed. I guess we're going gold card. to do you go red how much is this thing really going to overwhelm for it probably isn't going to kill me never lost a fair game or played one i would not demolitionist gangplank because gangplank would be the last one because I, I need to save the mana Looks like I should have gold carded. Looks like I need to play this Mega Rain last turn to kill that Leviathan. That's. That's now. That's now gonna be lethal. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't play around. I didn't play around Fury of the North. I did not play around Fury of the North. I'm a people person. This is, this is game over. As long as they don't mess us up. I don't know, maybe they play Swain, maybe they mess it up. That is not messing it up. Because they need to have, they just vote Ice Pillar challenge the Gangplank and then this is just so much overwhelm I can't, I can't deal with it. Yeah, I, I need to make a rain. Last round and not worry about the powder keg. I, was, I had the twisted fade in hand also for the powder keg. All right, good lesson learned. Good lesson learned. Yeah, or just gold card right there. I don't know, gold card. We're still we're in a really rough spot there. I I should have played that last maker rain and also killed Leviathan the previous round. That was a mistake. 
Yeah, I wasn't too worried about that three damage at the start of the round, but obviously hindsight. At the time, I wasn't worried about the three damage at the start of the round, but ended up being interesting for sure. Okay, well, one drop, two drop, and a couple champions. So it looks like another Go Hard deck. Go Hard pretty popular these days. Just need a second. You'd think Go Hard would be playing Twisted Fate, though. You would think. I suppose Undying is a possibility. Especially seeing the higher gun makes Undying a higher probability. possible to lose, but I'll feel pretty bad if we lose this one from here. So we're looking good. For the Empire. We're going to do the the whole demolitionist plus fortune croaker and leave the versatility of Twisted Fate with the stun and that kind of stuff. Available. Well, they drew tons of cards. What's the plan? It's just last win? Is that the plan? I gotta have more of a plan, right? Dark Water Scourge is the plan. Gold or... I guess just Sentry. You are nothing without me. I am everything, either way. Alright, no mana for... No mana for Ruination. I want to play, like, Grenadier, they play another thing, then I red card, and, and then I have Mega Rain, but obviously I can't I can't play Grenadier and Twist of Fate with a, this full of a board. Um, I am scared of another Scourge, so maybe I just do this, they play another Scourge, I stun. Obviously, it's hoping to take out more than one blocker, but one's better than zero, I suppose. Oh, man. They are in trouble. You can only block two things. I can't imagine this isn't lethal. All right, four and one. Yeah, so that's yeah, so that's why I wanted to save the Twisted Fate goal card for second scourge. Ouch. 
Action Lee Sin. We played against Lee Sin Zoe earlier. Our opponent did not play the card Lee Sin, so they did not win. I feel like that may be the case again. If they do not play the card Lee Sin, they will probably not win. So I like our 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's go. Where's my axe? Coming in hot! I don't need rules to know good from bad. So far, so good. Ballista. Spending, you know, three mana to kill something. All right. Won't get past me. Hello. 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 Fae Folk's kind of scary. I'm hoping to be able to gold card the Fae Folk. But if not, they're going to seven. Beware the dragon spirit. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. All that glitters. I go back. Alright, they're gonna need this lease in to do a lot of work. So the absolver gets in that thing. Yeah, they're gonna need like lifesteal barrier. Like, by open attack, lifesteal barrier. Prepare yourself. I better just play Gangplank and then... 2 damage make it rain. Alright, so if I attack... Because they, they have to have, like, lifesteal barrier plus, like, twin disciplines, plus 3, plus 0, and that gives them to 6... And so they block six, take five. I feel like I should probably just play the gangplank. Plenty of the hand life deals here, don't you think? Tis a sharp tongue you've got there, River Snake. And then, of course, I was going to make it rain before uh, combat, make them, you know, use, like, a Twin Disciplines to protect their 3-2, but then that's that would still be lethal, guard. so. We had it. What we got? Man, check out those rewards! Man, those are some awesome rewards. Those are some awesome rewards. Man, this deck's good. <laughs> I've never seen a better reward. <laughs> this deck's pretty good. Five and one. Can we win this one? Go six one. All right. Auction Siver. 
It has been a minute since we played against Sivir, so they're using Demacia. Get some sharp sight and stuff. Send you back. Um, Sentry stun can get rid of spell shield and stuff. I think I may still send a sentry back. With no flock, I mean it... I'm gonna send it back. No, 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 I meant to send it back. I tried clicking it and then clicking OK, but I just clicked too fast. Oh, no more. All right, so the the thing that with this matchup, I definitely see them playing the the two mana three one, um, you know that makes the makes the landmark, and that's going to be a thing that I want to make a range. So if I go Grenadier and they play that card, then I don't get to attack. But if their plan is like action, then I get good attack. So hopefully not that card. Maybe action or nothing. Okay. All right, fair enough. The Mega Rain does a good job blowing up spell shields. Am I stunning that thing? Is this a stun? Do I let this just hit me for two and get... Let me just let this hit me for two. What's my play? So I go rear guard, they hit me for two, I open attack, attack for six, they just take it. I, you know, like, they go sivir, I go like, make it rain, to bust up spell shield, then harpoon. They still have this action. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, none of that sounded too bad. Where's my axe? Getting a good amount of cards out of their hand. You cannot run from absolution. From action Lucian. No, you're playing action Sivir, not action Lucian. Too bad with the level up that this goes to the two health instead of the one health still. We'll have the harpoon. Use a lot of cards. This is justice. That would have killed the Fleet Feather Tracker, but oh, made him use a lot of cards. I've got your back. 
Huh. They didn't want to do that before attacking and challenge something with a barrier? They really wanted to keep that spell available, whatever that spell was. Yeah, it kind of felt like a single combat, didn't it? It's, it's, this is the spell right here. It feels like that single combat. Had to like block three, block three, single combat the other three. Go to two. Yeah, that's gotta be single combat, right? Yeah. Alright, so they're down to two and they have nothing in play. We gotta find some way to do a little bit more damage. Imperial Demolitionist, you do two damage. Their Nexus is at two. That sounds convenient. Plenty the hand life deals you, don't you think? It's a sharp tongue you've got there, River Snake. See, I just wanted them to spend some more mana, but I guess now they, they did unlock another single combat if they do have single combat still. I guess that was the thing. Remember the objective. I want them to, to kind of tap out. For the glory of All right. Of Got him. Six and one. GG's. Drink up. The taverns will sing our tale this eve. Yeah, so that was our only loss, that Trundle Swain, where I, you know, I could have maybe taken some different lines there at the end and maybe given us, you know, like that that was very possibly a, a winnable game. You know, if I, I play that Make a Rain, kill the Leviathan, who knows? Who knows? Maybe we would have had that one. That was very, very close. That, there's a good good chance that could have gone our way. And then, it, man, it, think if I would have won that game, we would have been 7 and 0. Oh. Man, seven and zero. That's crazy. But you know, we'll take a six and one with a real close loss. Yeah. So this is this deck's good. This deck's good. Maybe this will be my, um, you know, like if we just do like an all day one deck to, because you know we still got to keep pushing. We're still a ways away from Masters rank. We're at you know now Diamond two, twenty LP. So we still got a ways to go. Maybe this is one that we can just uh, you know keep playing like it like an all day thing and you know try to get there but i like it the game it's it's not too difficult to play the games are fairly straightforward all the all the stun stuff you know sentry plus twisted fate like you stun a lot to get in a lot of damage with like this small stuff um you know you just kind of do that and just kind of uh you know start out aggressive and just kind of pressure them enough and whenever they play their defense and they try to stabilize the stun stuff really uh does does a lot to keep them from stabilizing so all right, anyway, that's going to be it here, though, for Gangplank's Fate. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And as always, leave those comments and let me know what you think of this deck. Hopefully y'all are enjoying it. I know yesterday I had it labeled as best deck of the day. Looks like it's probably best deck of the day again, unless Vladimir Braum <laughs> really performs well. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, this is a, a really good quality deck right now. Really liking it. All right, but as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.